IkazuCon is a very small convention located in Fort Wayne, Indiana. But small doesn't necessarily mean bad. IkazuCon takes place in the Grand Wayne Convention Center in downtown Fort Wayne. The convention center is also attached to the Hilton, though no panels take place in the hotel itself. This is a pretty nice location, and it really works for this con. There's a lot to talk about with this con, but let's get the bad things out of the way first. Registration was very slow. Even with only a few people in front of you in line, it took way too long to finally get your badge. This is because they only had four computers set up for registration, and they never seemed to be using them all at the same time. In their defense, they were directing people to a website while in line where they could put their information in beforehand, but this really didn't seem to speed things up that much. This could be because, believe it or not, not everyone has a phone with internet on it. IkazuCon also does not offer guidebooks. We asked on Friday and were told they just weren't printed yet, but on Saturday when we asked, we were told that IkazuCon doesn't do guidebooks. They did have times set up for panels in front of the panel rooms, but I'm sorry, this just isn't enough. If you want to be taken seriously as a convention, you need to have some type of guidebook. Even the smallest convention I've ever been to had a single paper that you could fold out that told you when events took place. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is a very small con. It's without a doubt more about meeting people and just hanging out, which is fine. But the convention still needs to have good organization, which I do not believe IkazuCon did. Slow registration, no guidebooks, panels starting late, including the masquerade, which we also felt, though it was very fun, drug on way too long. But let's move on to the good. I felt the guests they brought in were without a doubt good enough for a convention this size. The dealer's room was also very well done. They had a bit of everything so anyone could find something they loved. I've seen a lot worse at a lot bigger cons, so well done. One of the best things about this convention was the video game room. For a small convention, you could tell they put a lot of work into this room. It was fairly large, with a lot of different types of games that anyone could enjoy. On top of that, it was also just a great place to relax and meet people. I felt that even though there was a lot of disorganization, the staff was still very nice and were really trying to help people out. We had no issues with any staff members this whole weekend. They did a good job. To top everything off, the rave on Saturday night was very well done. It was put on by DJ Jeff Ito, and if I've learned anything since I started going to con raves, it's that Jeff Ito always delivers. On top of all that, all the DJs did amazing. I heard no complaints from anyone. I hope IkazuCon chooses to have Jeff host their raves again in the future, as I heard many people say this was the best rave IkazuCon has ever had. The size of this con is small. This is without a doubt a more intimate con, meant for meeting friends and relaxing all weekend. Location gets a 10 out of 10. The convention center holds the convention extremely well. Also, there's a crazy amount of fast food places within walking distance, so no one should go hungry. The dealer's room gets an 8.5 out of 10. It was pretty well done and they had a lot in there but there was still a ton of unused space. I would like to see them fit a few more vendors in there next year. Organization gets a 6 out of 10. Most things were not organized very well, but this is such a small con, I don't think it really destroyed this convention. But, it's still something that should be addressed in future years. Panels get a 7.5 out of 10. They were decent, the guests they brought in were good, but there just didn't seem to be a whole lot going on in the way of panels. The staff gets a 9 out of 10. The staff was really good and nice for the most part, but I knocked a point off because I couldn't always tell who was actually staff. A couple had red Ikatsu concerts on that said staff, but a lot of them didn't. The rave gets a 10 out of 10. I have no complaints about this rave. Like I said, it was very well done. All the DJs delivered, and as a result, the crowd stayed lively all the way till the end at 2am. All in all, 
This is a small convention that's meant for making new friends and just hanging out for three days. It was pretty fun, though it wasn't without problems. IkasuCon has been going for a while and already has a pretty decent following. I don't know if they wish to ever expand, but if they do, they need to address these problems. At the end of the day, I give IkasuCon 2014 a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, you can click on the video on the screen to jump over to my vlog channel where I vlog my day to day life for your entertainment. If that's not enough for you, go to the description below to find links to my Twitch where I stream video games almost daily. My Facebook, Instagram, email, Twitter, Tumblr, and the Convention Reviews website.